Hello everyone, my name is Liu Yiming. From the we aim to transfer knowledge from a relatively dense source domain to a sparse target domain to enhance the prediction performance, as shown in Figure 2. The other CDR problem is widely existed since the target domain is always suffering from the day positive problem. Therefore, the target domain only has a small proportion of observed positive samples without negative ones. We summarize the main challenges as follows. User items always have diverse characteristics and preferences which should be well exploited across domains. Different domains tend to have various behavioral patterns, causing the existence of lantern embedding attribution bias and discrepancy. Now is the framework part of our proposed method CFAA. CFAA models mainly has two modules, including rating prediction modules and the embedding attribution alignment modules. Firstly, we provided details of the rating prediction modules. For convenience, we use the notation and calculation process in the source domain as an example. We adopt a trainable lookup table to exploit the user and item one how ID embeddings. Then we utilize the fully connected layers to obtain user and item behavior embeddings. Then we provide the text review process in the rating prediction models. We adopted the sentence segmentation component to split the original document into several individual sentences. Meanwhile, we utilize the pre-chambered models to obtain the contextualized word embeddings for each sentence. Then we average every sentence word embeddings to generate the sentence embeddings. Finally, we average these sentence embeddings to obtain the text embeddings. After we obtain these embeddings above, we use contentation operations to put them together to obtain the final user and items embeddings as US, VS, and UT, VT accordingly. We further use cross entropy loss ALC to minimize the prediction rating and ground two ones as below. It's noticeable that we only have positive ratings in the target domain. Through the basic function, the network parameters can be adjusted to the training data efficiently. Although the rating prediction models can provide us a simple and good baseline, it still can't depict use and item characteristic in the source and target domain as well. The main reason lies in the date capacity across domains which cause the embedding attribution bias and discrepancy. Specifically, we denote the each dimension of an embedding as a certain kind of attribution. The attribution discrepancy includes two aspects vertical probability discrepancy and horizontal relevance discrepancy. We first introduced the attribution distribution alignment. It's reasonable to assume that each dimension of user IT embeddings can have certain meaning information like occupation, income, hobbies, and etc. Although we can't directly depict what the exact meaning of the attribution Deep analysis of these lanterns embedding attributions can still be helpful for recommendation. Each lantern attribution distribution should be consistent with the source and target domains in order to enhance the model performance. For example, as shown in Figure 7, attribution 1 and attribution 3 has different probability distribution across domains with a certain domain gap. Vertical attribution discrepancy seriously hurdled the knowledge transfer across domains, which not only raised the training difficulty, but also led to the scattered target space with domain discrepancy. Therefore, we provide the vertical attribution alignment with several steps. The first, using typical sample selections on each attribution. Then, utilizing the optimum transport strategy to align these samples. Finally, we calculated the vertical attribution alignment loss. We also provided the algorithm details of our proposed vertical attribution alignment. The first step is typical sample selection, 
we tend to find out the symmetric matrix phi z and typical samples m x then the second step is finding out the pi z coupling matrix for the optimal transport between these typical samples the third step is calculating the Lyman loss LO between the typical samples across domains with the coupling matrix pi then we introduce the horizontal attribution alignment algorithm previous researchers point out that align the corresponding relevant attribution relationship but for example adopting the correlation alignment with covariance matrix can better enhance the model performance however covariance is hard to capture the complex and the nearly hidden relationship between different attribution under this problem therefore we propose a horizontal attribution alignment with attribution subspace modeling and attribution graph alignment methods we first use attribution subspace modeling to build the attribution graph exploring the horizontal and typological structure between the different attributions it, ha it has three steps steps one adopting the attribution subspace modeling to obtain attribution attribution weight matrix step two calculating the invest lapis matrix for attribution graph the third step is calculating the horizontal attribution distribu uh, distribution loss we also provided the algorithm details of this method horizontal attribution alignment the first step is attribution space modeling with the bus linear methods to find out the attribution attribution weighted matrix B X Z step 2 is build up the attribution graph which make them positive and symmetric the third part is finding the source and target attribution graph distribution through inverse efficient matrix and finally we adopted Watson's 10 distance to figure out the distance now we make a short summary with the vertical attribution alignment one can just align the marginal distribution across the domains as shown in figure B the horizontal attribution alignment can only align the attribution relationship but cannot reduce the distribution discrepancy as shown in figure C one two tasks can complement each other and work together to complete the task as shown in figure D to obtain the best performance in conclusion the main reason of our proposed CFAA is given as below first we should obtain user item embeddings as US UT VS VT then we calculated the rating prediction loss LC on the rating prediction module then we calculated vertical and horizontal attribution alignment loss LOLA finally we combined all these loss together with L lambda O and lambda A for the parent hyperparameters to balance different losses finally it's the experiment part we conducted extensive experiments on two popularly used real world data sets Doban and Amazon first the Doban data set has three domains books music and movies second is Amazon data set has five domains movie books music media and clothes both data set have user item ratings and reviews the detail we selected the relatively large data set for example Amazon movies and Doban books as the source domain and the rest as the target domains we conducted several tasks that transfer the useful knowledge from the source to the target domains with busy and easy and hard tasks we compare our proposed CFAA with the following state-of-the-art recommendation models for example deep core deep cooperative neural networks is the first deep cooperative model to leverage both user and item textual features for reviews for recommendation and rag discriminative adversarial network for recommend the system 
adopt advanced training strategy to align the joint use and item textual features to transfer useful knowledge in the cross-domain recommendation. And TDAR, Text Enhanced Domain Adaptation, which is the state-of-the-art review based on overlap CDR. We have mo models which adopt adversarial training strategy to use uh, an item embedding respectively with text memory networks. The comparison results on Dopen and Amazon are shown in Table 1. Note that CFAEA represents the model that only adopts the rate implementation model for collaborative fitting without embedding attribution alignment. CFAAV only adopts the vertical attribution alignment while CFAAH only adopts the horizontal attribution alignment. As we can see that CFAA consistently achieved the best performance which proves that embedding attribution alignment model with attribution distribution and relevance alignment can significantly improve the prediction accuracy. To better show the use IT embeddings across the domains, we visualize the TSA embeddings for CFAA base, DREC, ESIM, and CFAA. The result of Doban movie to Doban music are shown from A to D. The first and second row denotes the user and IT embeddings respectively. From it, we can see that CFAA base can't reduce the embedding bias and discrepancy on both user and items across the domains, leading to the insufficient knowledge transfer. ESIM and DIRECT can marginally align user item embedding attributions to a certain extent, but there still exists domain discrepancy which causes the negative transfer. CFAA with attribution distribution and relative alignment can better match user and item across domains. The visualization results illustrating the validity of our models. Now is the conclusion. In this paper, we propose to collaborative fitting with distribution alignment CFAA models, which includes the rating prediction model and embedding attribution model for solving the RNCDR problem. We innovatively adopt a horizontal and vertical attribution alignment to better reduce the embedding discrepancy from the different perspective. Vertical distribution alignment utilize typical sample selection with optimal transport to make them consistent across domains. Horizontal relevant alignment applies subspace modeling with attribution graph alignment to reduce the discrepancy. We also conduct expensive experiments to demonstrate the superior performance of our proposed CFAA on several data and tasks. That's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you, Wei Ming, for the for the talk. And uh, this way, uh, I've already running out of the time. So Wei Ming, maybe we can just uh, uh, allow one question. So anyone wants to have the question? So Wei Ming, can you hear me? Uh, I, I have one question. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great, great, great. Okay, so have you compared the uh, running time, uh, clock clock time running time? Because I think you have uh, some, uh, for example, the alignment of the attribution during the training. So maybe for the training time, have you compared the different algorithms, the training time? Yeah. Uh, for the training time parts, I have, I have just uh, a little bit, uh, mm, Lower than the sim, just just like uh, matching the covariance matrix, the sim is much faster than than me because I I do the part uh, I do the vertical and the horizontal alignment it is, and so it's double and double working. So, but for the adversarial training, I'm also a little bit faster than adver adversarial training because adversarial training you always includes like the Domain description, description, descriptor, because this will cost much more time, and it's a, it's a little bit hard for training. So it's a little bit just uh, a little bit uh, during this range between the theme and the adversarial training part. And thank you. Yeah.